Welcome back. Palantir is set to report after the bell, and Wedbush's Dan Ives has been calling it the messy of AI, uh, Lionel Messi, writing that the company is leading the AI revolution into the use case phase. That was already underway in Silicon Valley, as vibe coding, or using AI to help write code, is steadily gaining ground. Kate Rooney has more in Tech Check. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kelly. So one of AI's emerging superpowers that we're seeing is writing software. We're hearing tech CEOs talking a lot more about this trend. And the term of the week, I would say the term of the year in Silicon Valley, it's been vibe coding. So it's become a lot more mainstream in tech circles. It's basically a way to write code more casually and quickly. You basically put in a prompt, you describe what you want to build, and then you go by the feel or the vibe instead of writing in one of these complicated coding languages. Startups have been all over this. Here's what Y Combinator partner Tom Blomfield told me about the early stage companies that they invest in. I think the really interesting shift today is that I'm not sure how technical you need to be anymore. I mean, we had a quarter of the companies in the current batch say that AI basically wrote all of their code. And these are highly technical founders with, with uh, top computer science degrees. They're just not writing code anymore. They're asking AI to do it for them. And then there's vibe coding on a much larger scale of big tech. Just last week, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said AI is writing about 30 percent of code. Amazon has told me it's something similar in that range. Same thing from Visa. It's not just big tech. And then Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg says half of code within the next year is going to be written by AI. The coding boom has not been flowing through to the bottom line, at least not yet or in this earnings season. Analysts expect these companies to get more productive and roll out products faster. They are not holding their breath, at least right now, for any sort of huge jumps in margins. Kelly, you mentioned this earlier. The labor force, what does this mean? I am hearing some jitters about what it's all going to look like in the future of tech jobs. 